Good afternoon, good evening, really. Um, good evening and happy July 4th. This is uh, Dr. Dewanda Owens coming to you live for our uh, mental health ABC nugget for the day. Today, our, uh, our letter is C. And I wanted to talk about uh, communication and how the communication or the lack of communication can lead to stress and anxiety. It oftentimes leads to stress and anxiety, not, uh, not always on the individual that has the communication disorder, but mostly on individuals who try to have a relationship or a conversation with those who suffer with communication disorder. There are a lot of different communication disorders. You can just check the DSM. Um, it, 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 it's from uh, uh, minor to severe, uh, but most of them, most communication disorders have an impact on the ability of the individual to have a productive an effective relationship. And the reason it is, um, let me just give it to you. Have you ever tried to talk to somebody and it seems like no matter how you tried to talk to them, no matter how you tried to reason with them, no matter how you tried to get them, them to kind of understand and be able to hear what you hear and, and, and see things in another light, they, um, they oftentimes just can't seem to get it to that point. You can't get them to, so it frustrates you to talk to them. It frustrates you to be able to, to communicate with them because you're not able to communicate with them. They're not able to receive you for who you are. They're not able to be, um, be on that level for you to actually talk to them. So it's frustrating to deal with someone with a communication disorder because when you're dealing with someone with a communication disorder, they, it's not that, my grandmother used to say, uh, for instance, they, they have a lack of understanding. It's not always that they have a lack of understanding, they have a lack of the ability to communicate. And so when we talk about uh, the communication disorder, we talk about people who, who just don't know how to communicate. We often uh, say that people who don't know how to communicate or have a communication disorder would lead to verbal or nonverbal. But there are people who are very verbal, but don't know how to communicate. And that, could, that lack of communication leads to stress and anxiety on individuals who are trying to have a relationship with them because you can't talk to them. You can't uh, reason with them. And every time you do try to reason with them, you find yourself in a place of stress. Uh, you find your, yourself tensing up. You find yourself in, in this, in this, um, this place of, of just always being, trying to figure out how to get along, how to talk, how to, how to break barriers, how to, how to uh, overcome things, how to do this and how to do that to communicate with that individual. A lot of communication disorders and people with communication disorders go through life undiagnosed. And uh, it, as I said, it's often, um, they often go through uh, uh, relationship issues. They're unable to have relationships, uh, e effective, productive relationships. Um, they often, uh, people with communication disorders, when you talk to them, if rather than saying that they or admitting that they don't understand, they'll laugh things off. Uh, if they don't laugh, they laugh it off. Uh, they'll uh, make it appear as if you don't know what you're talking about. When the reality is, is that they don't understand and they don't know how to communicate that they don't understand, or maybe they're ashamed or they're embarrassed. If you are one that suffers from a communication disorder, just know that you are not alone. There is help. Seek help. Seek uh, seek guidance, because a communication uh, disorders are not to the point where you can't overcome them. Some of them, some of them, depending on the spectrum, leads to medication, and then some can be overcome just by admitting that you don't know how to communicate. So, if you are one that suffers from communication disorder, or you are in a relationship with someone 
that you know suffer from a communication disorder, seek help. Seek help, seek guidance, seek attention. And walk, talk through the process of deliverance. I pray that this helps you today. God bless.